Hello everybody, you're here with Claudio Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is going to be an episode of Chantikai. Now Chantikai is going to be first impressions because I was going to film something else but out of the sudden my delivery arrived and so I said why not? Let's do that together. And if you're interested in that, please keep on watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and ring the bell on the right hand corner so you know when I upload new videos. Okay, so as you know, I don't like to show up bare, <laughs> but um, for what we're doing today, of course, I have to. So let's begin putting some color into this white canvas. And why do I say white canvas? Well, because I already apply, yes, my new favorite, well, it's not new favorite because I've been wearing it for almost over eight months or something. But now every day my to-go is Chantikai uh, gel foundation, skin gel foundations. I love it, love it, love it. I'm almost done with my first jar and I already have an extra. So, um, I definitely recommend it. I don't have it here. I have it in my bathroom, but that's what I have on. And then of course I applied a little tiny bit on my Charlotte Tilbury, uh, cover. What is it called? Uh, well, wow. I'm forgetting what it's called, but this is in fair. If you've been with me, uh, you know that I speak about this. I have three, one in my purse, one in the bathroom, this one that is almost, I mean, gone. So, and this is rare for me. This is just must for me. Anyhow, that's what I have on. And I did apply a little bit in my eyebrows with my new favorite, oh, I don't have it. Oh yes, here. So my new favorite, Joan Rhodes eyebrow pencil. Love, love, love this thing. This is what I wear now every day for everything. So yes, E1 over all my other favorites, all the other ones that I wear for every day. This is just perfection. Now I was between two colors of this and um, this is the light brunette. So I thought I was going to get ash because usually ash goes better with my hair, etc. Well, it's interesting today. My hair looks darker than ever. Hmm. Usually it has a lot more white, but okay, whatever. So I have um, light brunette and I love it. I just love it. Okay. Maybe that's not the guy, but everything else is. So what did I get? Um, I order one of the new sea turtle um, eye palettes. And of course there's two and there's one cool and one warm. Um, so I ordered the cool one. And why? Because there's a shade and you'll see that it's lilac that I was just curious. I wanted to have it. And so I ordered it. The warm palette has a little more peachy tones and of course it's warmer, uh, very light. I think it's gorgeous too, especially if warms are your colors. Like if you have more golden tones, um, I think it's going to be beautiful in the very natural looking palette. Uh, at least to what I have seen other YouTubers, um, how it looks in them, etc. So let's, try this baby. Let me open it. So first time for me to see it as well. Wow, that's pretty, right? Yeah, very pretty. Okay, so it's a sea turtle. I have to admit the other case was a different color. Now I can't remember. Was it green? Look more appealing to me, but I did want it the cool. Ah, this is nicer than I thought. Of course, it will leave prints uh, oil prints because it's that kind of shine quality, but it's very, very pretty. And that blue sea turtle, sea turtle looks gorgeous. All right, let's open it up. Ooh. Okay. Ah, doesn't have the cover of the mirror. That's interesting. So it comes with this sheet on top of it, but you know how usually there's a glue on the mirror. It doesn't have it. So it has a full mirror can see. Oh, colors are nice. They're actually nicer than I thought uh, the other two. Okay. 
Let me show you. This whole mirror thing is really probably not the best, but there they are. So what I am immediately surprised at, you know, the middle one looks more gold on the screen. This one looks a little more, there's reddish bronze, but in real life, and this one seems to have a lot of pearl pink in it, but in real life, this one looks with a little bit more pinkish. I mean, yes, of course it's bronze and, but, well, let me swatch them for you. Now, excuse my nails. You know, this is interesting. I didn't film, as you know, or if you're new with me, you don't know, but I didn't film for months. Um, and my nails, I got my gel nails and they look perfect and they were long. I even had a hard time putting buttons on, etc. cetera. Um, and I was so proud of them. And I always said, oh, I wish I was filming. And now, <laughs> that I started filming again is, you know, when you've been wearing gel nails for a while, they kind of destroy a little bit or thin out your nail. And then it be just becomes a whole ordeal to recover them. That's the stage I'm in. And my nails look horrendous. So excuse that. It's not always the case. Anyhow, I'm going to go to the swatching. Woo. All right. So this one, First one, let me swatch all of them. This is very interesting because the swatch is different than what it looks like and is different to what it looks on screen. Lilac, a little more pastel -y. and white, you see this? This is a little more gold. Hmm. And this one, I guess you can see a little pink in there, it makes it a little mauve. I don't know if you can tell what I'm talking about of course it looks brownish but it has some pink in there so let me put it on well they do swatch pretty nice there you have it yeah even now this one looks a lot browner swatch a lot more brown than what I see just on the palette a lot more gold and of course the lilac look it looks a little what, what do you call that color that is grayish and then lilac and then pearly, but it does have that, what do you call it, taupe, you see that? So these are gonna go a little more brown that I usually prefer, but let's play, right? I mean, you never know until you play. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Sonia G Kayaki. This is from the Kayaki set, which is, she's coming with a new set as well from this, and this kind of wood, handle. Uh, I'm very excited about it. I'm not going to buy the whole set because I already have a lot of hers and Wayne Goss, but I will get one or two, but it's coming out. If you don't have any of Sonia G or you don't have this ones, I think it's going to be worth it, but okay. Back to Chanticleer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one on my crease just to see how dark or Ooh, that's perfect. It's very nice. What I mean by perfect, look at my own, this is, you see this, my own stain without makeup. This is my natural stain, kind of an Apache, you know, those animals. And I love when I find a shade that resembles, but a little darker, you see that? That looks kind of like my stain, but a tiny bit more. So it has the enough orange or copper or bronze and the enough uh, pink in it, mauve. So, woof, like that. Because even in a day-to-day, -day, if I just want to wear that, put a little bit here, a little eyeliner. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I like this one. Now, probably I would like just an ivory, natural kind of color there, but let's see how the golden color looks. The reason, I mean, this is very nice and it has a little bit of a shine, the, the gold one, but it tends gold, and I usually don't like that. I wish it was just like an ivory, not gold, but let's try it, let's see. Yeah, see, it tends gold. 
Not bad. Very natural. But I wish it was more neutral. And that one looks more like a pop of color and probably just to put in the center instead of all over. And because of that, I'm gonna put in the center underneath. Because I just want those two centers to pop. You barely see it, but the effect is nice. So, so far I really like it. So then let's put the purple. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the purple all over the lid here so you see how the purple is, I mean the lilac. The reason being is that's one of the reasons I got this. So might as well see it on its own. But to finish off this side, I'm gonna just kind of put it in the outer corner. Okay, it's very, very light, very light. So I'm gonna put it also on the inner not in the inner corner, but kind of on the inner part of my eyelid. Oh, wow. That's very, very light. So now I'm going to put it all over. Very, very light. And I like it. I like it. Talking about, I mean, one of you wrote to me, Kate, and hi, Kate. <laughs> And um, you wrote that right now the most natural kind of a no eye shadow um, is the tendency or is your preference. You're more into the blush nowadays. But this one is very, very natural and nonchalant. It's very nice. Of course, this palette is expensive. Now, I saw there was a code out there for 25% off. I wish I had seen it before I order it. Because uh, that would have been nice. 25% off of this. I think it's worthwhile. I did pay full price, so it's expensive. Of course, granted, it's nice. It's small enough that it'll fit in your purse, but with this turtle, it's a little troublesome to just plug it in. So, but I still will put it in my purse. I, I carry a very small purse, so I have to be very, <laughs> you know, organized. So let's apply the lilac all over my lid here. So you can see the color of just the lilac. Can you see it? Right? It's so, so, so light, but beautiful. I'm putting it underneath as well. So you can do that like a one and done. I mean, if you want, let me bring it up a little. If you wanted to do just the one and done and put an eyeliner. Yeah. It's not sparkly like her uh, Chantikai's collection with the small single ones. It's not all that sparkle. This is very, very natural light. And so having said that, I think you can use this all over like one and done or this all over and one and done. And then this one just to highlight above, below, things like that. Well, look how pretty. Very, very pretty. Now, I'm gonna apply a little bit of the gold just in the center, a little bit of the gold just here on top, here on the bottom. You can put a little bit of the gold in here. I, again, I'm not very big on the gold, but for all of you that are blondes, um, the gold's just, go beautiful with your hair. So goals are good. Okay. So yeah, what do you guys think? I want to equalize them, but I want you to see how this looks so beautiful just like that. So what I'm going to do now, let's apply a little bit of uh, eyeliner and then I'll equalize them at the end because I like this without the warm, Thing. And that's a lot for me to say because usually what I like the most or why I put a little bit of eyeshadow is to help with my hoodiness. So something in the crease is a must for me. And in this case, you know, I might do something very 
light just to mark here something but I'll do that at the end just so you see how this looks now I pull out this Chantecaille eyeliner and this is violet violet desk mask and because so it looks kind of in the black but no it has it's called violet desk mask so it has a little bit of violet in it even though I don't think <laughs> I don't think it's coming across even in person or in you, but there, maybe a little bit there. It's a little hue, but it is pretty dark, almost black. But let's try this. So I'm just putting it at the end. Yeah. And the other big trick is to put a cream eyeliner inside your waterline just to open up the eye and then put it up here. So right at the vertex, you don't have dark. But, and I do own the Chantakai, but I think I left it in the bathroom, so I'm not gonna be able to show you. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, it's just about to tell you that that's one of the things that I use the most. Uh, the one I have on my purse is, um, what's her name, uh, Victoria Beckham also the white or cream uh, waterline and it's one of my favorites but it's in my purse so let's see do I have one here I do have one here it's probably not a big brand yeah no this is gray and coal it's not even a known brand I don't think but I was trying to see what other colors because even though they're all cream You'll be surprised how uh, there's a difference in color. I think I, I even bought two Pixie. You know, Pixie is a drugstore brand. And because uh, I was looking for, let's see, I have here Pixie. And I even bought one completely white. Oh, this is old. This is Rimmel. And. Um, yeah, but my favorites are the Victoria Beckham and the um, and the Chantecaille. And those are the, I think I even, is Westman Atelier one of them? Hmm, I don't remember, but Victoria Beckham, my favorite. I would recommend that one, anyhow. But again, uh, the reason I wouldn't, I mean, I have Chantecaille and I do wear it. I have it in my bathroom, but the reason Victoria Beckham is uh, more, my favorite is because the color is a little brightening and less cream. And so the cream I find because of my blue eyes, I mean, it's just coloring because as much of performance, um, you know, they're all good or bad for you. I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, so let me apply a little bit of mascara now. I do love, if you've been with me lately, love the Chantecaille. The, she has, or she, the brand has two. Uh, this is the long something, something, long mascara. I don't think, or I don't remember if I tried the other one. I think I have, but this one I really, really enjoy, like. I mean, mascara is mascara. There's some that flake, that's a big no, and there's some that give volume but not elongate. That's a big no to me. I like elongation and volume, of course. Um, I think this is the perfect combination of both things it's not like super elongating that it will not look natural or super you know it's a it for me it's the right amount it does give you it's not like not noticeable you notice I mean I'll show you right now the difference between one and the other big difference I mean huge difference but on the day-to-day -day, I might not put mascara at all it just looks more natural but for it really opens up my eyes. Now, the other thing of why I love this mascara is it doesn't irritate my eyes. It lasts all day. And if I don't take it off at the end of the day, yes, because I'm that kind of person, <laughs> I don't wake up with my eyes swollen up or anything like that. And if I do take it off, it's so easy to do so because one of my other uh, favorite mascaras for like a, an event 
or a full eye coverage is Thrive. But that one, uh, your eyes thicken up quite a bit. They elongate quite a bit. I mean, it doesn't look, let me see if I have one. I have it in different colors. I have the brown, the blue, and the black. This one is the best of best. But it does look like you're wearing mascara for sure. And uh, and then to take it off, it's almost like, uh, like a shell to each of your eyelashes. So kind of falls and it's thick. I mean, I guess, almost fake <laughs> uh, eyelashes, but it's just a mascara, it's great. All right, purple, gold, all three. What do you guys see? see how natural? I mean, almost not there, but the shade, the hue, this one looks a lot more cool, like it's advertised. This one looks a little neutral or warm tending. If you like warm or, uh, you know, you're blonde and you like this brownish, reddish with the gold, I think this is gorgeous. You know, uh, the Dior palette cashmere that is a super bestseller and everybody loves it. It has a shade there that has a little taupe, lilac and gold. I think you really create that here. Mm -hmm. So let's finish up what I was discussing about little a little line there. I'm gonna put the brown and it's brown but pink. It's an interesting color. I'm gonna put it right here because I want to create some kind of crease. So it will not be as strong as the other side but something. Right? All right, so another big distinction here, the order that you put the, the shades. So if you put the purple first and then the brown, it does become a little more tape. And if you put the brown first and then the lilac, it stays a lot more brown. I don't know if you can see the difference. So for me, I prefer putting the lilac all over and then the tape, just FYI. I do believe it makes a difference, tiny difference. And another thing I'm noticing, they're buildable because I started with very, very, I mean, I did apply enough. It's not like I was shy with it, but it looked extremely um, natural and a little bit. But now that I added and added, it did build up. So where you see that I have eyeshadows. You see that? Great, okay, we're advancing. So the other item that I got was a lippy. Now I know there's two for cool and two for warm. I think they were green and blue. I'm not sure which one was for what. I mean, probably one was very clear that it was for warm, but I didn't choose it for that. There were only two that I like. There was this one that is coral vine. And there was one that it was like rose or rosary or rose something. But that one looked like almost a lot of the colors that I already have, which is a very neutral, natural color. And, uh, and I did like it quite a bit. But given that I had many, like the new cherry bloom from Guerlain, you know, it is that kind of very natural, nude, neutral kind of one. So I decided to go for this, Coral Vine, because I like coral, but I don't own a lot of coral lipsticks. For some reason, I always go for that brownish, rosy, or, or pink, or uh, orange, but not a lot of coral lipsticks. I think my to-go coral might be one from Charlotte Tilbury, uh, but I've been saying, I need to get more coral. All right, anyhow. So, oh, I got one that, oh my God, I'm gonna surprise you. I'm gonna do a video, okay. Do you think, do you recognize this horse? This is the new brand, um, uh, Isamaya. And it's a very interesting, I'm gonna show you, but see, this is more orangey, okay. That's to come, that's to come. I did buy quite a bit of their of her products and I do 
they're fun. They're a lot of fun. Not for everybody, but they're a lot of fun. I'll do a video on that. Anyway, back to Chanticleer. So, beautiful case, sea turtle, blue. I actually like the blue. I thought I was gonna like more the green, and I was upset that the green was the warm. But now that I see it in person, I think I'm liking this much better. I'm sorry, I had to take a sip, and this is like an advertising cup that I got from the realtor. It's so funny. Anyhow, so beautiful color. I see more pink than coral. Let's see how it swatches. A little more pink than coral. What do you guys think? Coral? I mean, the name of it is Coral Bell. Coral Vine. All right, let's see. Oh, has fragrance. Interesting, has fragrance. Very interesting. So it feels like a balm. Is it a balm? It's called Lip Chick. It feels like a balm. With that fragrance, what is that fragrance reminds me of? A little bit of mint. Oh, and I can feel it in my tongue. The flavor, the taste of it. So you don't like fragrance? Mm, I don't dislike fragrance. It's just sometimes I don't feel like being disturbed by the fragrance. You know, I'm in my own flavor. <laughs> but other times, I guess it's nice. The moisturizing, beautiful. Feels good, it feels warming, it feels delicious in my lips. So lip check, I mean, yeah, I can see a little bit of coral. How does this compare to my new Dior that I said it was a little pinkish in my last video? Pulling it out here. Just gonna swatch it right next to it. Oh yeah. This is a lot more lipstick, a lot more pink. But this is a lot lighter, balmy. I don't know if I, I mean, I do see a little bit of coral, right? A little bit. All right. So, I really like it. I really, really like it, right? Um, what I was gonna say, I did pull out several of my other Chantikai lippies. Now, what do I have here? I have Rock Rose, that's gonna be Carnelian, that's gonna be too bold. I thought I had another Lip Veil. Is this Lip Veil? What did I just say? I oh, know, Lip Cheek. No, I have a lip bell, a lip, uh, yeah, no, it's not gonna be a lip cheek. So I did have another lip cheek, but I guess not, none of this, oh, here, maybe this one. No, this is a uh, All right, well, maybe it's in my bathroom, as always, Jesus. Oh, a lip cheek here, Frisia. okay. So this was the giraffe collection. And this is Frisia. You know, I haven't pulled this ones out that much. There it is. There, see, this is what I was talking to you about, a little brownie, reddish, you know, I have so many of this. Um, but this is more spring to me, more corally like I wanted. I'm actually very happy with that color. Very natural. So let's just add a little bit of, this is a very, very, very light blush. I do own a more coral, we will have a lot more color. This is Bliss, this is barely there, but you know what, that's what I feel like wearing today. You know what will go very well also is the Chanel, the new, this one, is it this? Where is my other blush? Oh no, this is the eyebrow. Oh, what did I do with my other Chanel? Uh, the new ones. Oh, I guess I moved them. Oh, well. Well, let's continue. I'm going to use this, and it has Bliss. So let's put a little bit of Bliss. I'm going to use the Sony G. And just a little bit here. If you notice, it's not a big blush. 
So I hope you guys are not disappointed, especially Kate, that you mentioned you were excited about blushes and here I am putting the least exciting blush ever. <laughs> well, I apologize. It's just, I'm gonna film something else after this and I'm too excited about the blushes there. So, um, this is the look from Chantikai. Now, very, very natural, very nonchalant. I actually, very happy for the collection. The only negative thing I could say about it is the price. But if you can get it for 25% off, like I said, there are coupons out there already. I think it's worthwhile. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell in the right hand corner so you know when I upload new videos. And comment down below, tell me, do you like it? You're gonna get it, what do you think? I mean, anything, I appreciate it. And uh, I guess see you next time, bye.